it's not all the time, it's not about us, it's about the job that we have in Portsmouth to have an effect on somebody else. But as a group, I think we're a symbol of, of strength, encouragement, and um, opportunities. Hi, my name is Ms. Roush. I'm Allie Kreiner. My name is Sophia Pagliarani. My name is Kelly Harlow. I'm Jonathan Myers. I'm Ryan Alexander. I'm Gabby Telford. These are just a few of the band members and alumni in Portsmouth High School's marching band. It consists of a concert, symphonic, and marching band, along with a jazz, flute, strings, and upper winds ensemble. It is made up of color guard, dance team, drumline, and instruments. I remember when I was in fourth grade and they made us all go outside. This was when I was in Elmhurst Elementary School. And I remember the marching band came and it was really cool. And I saw the drum line and all the uniforms and they're all matching. And I remember I got to hold, I think I held someone's clarinet and they gave me a feather from their hat. And I actually took that feather and I put it in a little photo album. And I actually still have that photo album. And I remember it was kind of an inspiration, and I just, I was thinking like, oh, I want to be like that one day. And then I played the recorder, and then I decided to join marching band in high school. My friend suggested that you should do the marching band because they do all these really cool things, and they go on trips, and they do all these amazing uh, field shows every single year. So I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. My mom kind of made me join band. She was like, in middle school, she was like, you have to play an instrument, you have to do something. And then once I learned how to play in middle school, she was like, okay, like go join the band. So like, I really have her to thank for that. So I had originally wanted to be in marching band and like my, my mom was like, you have to join marching band, like, like either that or join a sport or something. So I was like, okay, yeah, so I'll just join marching band and play the saxophone in it. And then the color guard came to the middle school. So I thought it would like be cool to just kind of try it out. And it ended up being the best decision of my life. I loved it. Um, what really made me want to join band was coming to the uh, football games when my sister was in band uh, throughout all the middle school and seeing the cool mu music that the drumline did especially, seeing them um, come down to the elementary school and the middle school performing, that really made me want to join band. I joined band because I really liked doing band in middle school and I was in the jazz band and I loved that so it kind of influenced me to keep going with it in high school. The band started soon after the high school was built around the year of 1963 under the direction of Mr. Ray Ainsworth. He remained leader through 1985 and established many band traditions that are still alive today. These include the 4th of July parades, home football games, school assemblies, graduation, prep rallies, and concerts for the public to see. Some band traditions have faded into the past and others have transformed. Portsmouth High School used to have a dance band, which was a group of students who would play modern and contemporary music in and outside of school. Another branch of band included a group called the Majorettes. They were a group of girls who performed along with the band and can be considered a combination of color guard and dance team. A few years later, around 1972, the flag twirlers, or as we now call them, color guard, was introduced to the band. Today, with the concert, symphonic, and marching band combined, it totals to 247 students, 135 of them just in marching band, under the direction of Mr. Ted Rausch since 1999. It was after Christmas time. Um, I sat down with the computer. I was just checking some email. And I got the um, email that came through. It says, congratulations, you've been selected to participate in the inaugural parade for Barack Obama, and I thought it was spam. Um, I looked into it, I actually called the person, um, and she says, no, it's, it's real. The inaugural parade was such an honor to be picked for that. We got picked because we were in the Cherry Blossom Festival, um, and out of like all of the bands in Rhode Island, like, they picked us, which was super cool. So we really worked hard. We like, it was like, wow, like we're gonna be in front of the president. Like we have to work twice as hard. 
really like amp it up. We did a lot of after school practices, so it was a lot of hard work, but it was definitely worth it. So one thing I really remember from the parade was turning every corner and remembering drilled into our heads, trying to stay in the straight line, keep it parallel, don't mess up the lines. And I remember just thinking that in my head, taking every turn, waiting for Obama, seeing if he was there. Every year, there is a theme that goes along with the band's field show. Some of these include Michael Jackson, Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, Motown, and much more. I think my favorite field show would have been Star Wars from when I was a freshman because it was just like the first experience that I ever had with it and it was just like totally awesome to be part of something like that and it was kind of like there was 180 members in it in the band at that time. I think my favorite marching band theme show was probably um, my freshman year because it really made me love band even more. We did Michael Jackson and he had like just passed away and everybody was like super talented and to see all these like amazing like senior musicians and junior musicians made me really like wow like I could be that. Well preparing for like football games and parades is kind of hard because we have to be here at least like an hour or two ahead of time and we have to distribute all of the um, uniforms. We have to make it sure everybody has gloves and socks and then we have to have time to transport to wherever we need to go and get ready there. Along with the football games and the parades, the band visits the elementary schools such as Melville, Hathaway, and Wilbur. I think my favorite band event outside of school is definitely going to the elementary schools and like performing for all these kids who thought it was like the coolest thing ever that all these big kids were like here to play for them. At the elementary toys, like it's so cute just to see all the kids there and they're just like so happy to see us and it's awesome to put on the show for them. Band serves a purpose for a, a community of kids in our program that don't have anything else that they relate to in the school. They don't do sports, clubs, activities. Um, band is the one key component that keeps them connected to the school, keeps them connected with um, something that provides some educational value to it outside of the academic world. I, de I definitely think that music programs and like marching band and symphonic band are extremely important to education um, because like again um, that camaraderie, that um, like companionship, that like fr the friendships that you make in band it would really help like with your overall educational experience in school. Academics, it, they're really enhanced by music. So I've developed this incredible passion for music that I never knew existed. Now I couldn't imagine what my high school life would be like without it. So it's just like a really good group of people where I met all the people who I'm really good friends with. At the end of the day, knowing that there were some kids that I made an impression on with the band program that they were um, create some memories and things that they will take with them well after high school. Um, you know, it's about what you do as a band, it's about the quality of your program. Like it teaches you teamwork, it teaches you how to listen and how to respond to others, and it teaches you just how to come together as an ensemble and create something together. Like I learned leadership skills, I met so many amazing people, like from when I was a freshman, the seniors, like they were my role models and like inspired me for the next few years in band and I'm still friends with them to this day. Like a ton of the people who I did band with, I still talk to them now. Because like band, it, like it was, it was everything, like it was what your life revolved around really and like all my friends are in band. Since I was a section leader and I was a secretary, I learned how to take notes, I learned how to work with other students and try to help them understand the music. And I have some of my friends I graduated with, I still talk to today even three years after graduating and I really plan on keeping in contact with them. Everybody's like a huge family, like all of my like closest friends are in band, I still see them like three years later. Like you just get really a sense of community, you spend so much time with these people that like they do really become your family.